Hello everyone and welcome to the Livingston Lair at night. This is Life Creates Art and I am Shelly and here tonight we're going to start a project using our projector. And so I wanted to show you this projector that my husband got me last year. We are actually going to be talking and touching base more on sketching, which I love to talk about because I believe sketching is a vital, vital part of your creative process. And now this is a way that you can carry that sketching into your art and onto your canvas, because I really truly believe that your sketching is the most exciting and purest part, at least with me it is, it's the purest part of, of my, my freedom in art. I am most creative when I am just relaxed and sketching. And so I'll show you a little bit more about my projector. I hope you all are doing well. And I encourage you to like and subscribe our page, then like and subscribe to our page. And uh, we have lots of exciting things happening right now with Life Creates Art. And so uh, here's my sketchbooks. And these are ones that I've kind of just started recently. I've filled up a couple. And so I have taken a lot of the sketches that I have and put them onto this little USB port. I want to call it a do doodly D or doodly Bob. And, uh, but it's a USB port and that you insert into the uh, projector and then it shines your art up onto your canvas and makes it bigger and you can sketch it onto your canvas. But you can actually just take a photograph of your sketches. And so a lot of my sketches have, are on, on this USB port and some of the fun ones, not a lot of these are ones, a lot of these are ones that I don't necessarily want to do, uh, but some of these are ones that I just love and have wanted to put onto a canvas for a very long time. Let me show you one, actually two, that I have done from a sketch that I wanted to do. This is one that was from a sketch and finally got to put it onto a canvas and oh, loved it. Then also, here is another one that is not done yet, but I'm doing this one primarily with oils uh, that I did as a sketch and am working on this and love, love, love it. And I did this by taking a photograph of my sketch, which was this one, this last one I showed you was a small sketch. And I was able to take a photograph of it. I sent it to my husband uh, in his email and he put it onto the USB port for me and put it onto this projector, which he got for me for Christmas. And it wasn't that expensive. I think it was just one of the, the lower priced projectors and you don't have to spend a lot of money on projectors for them to work just fine for you. But what we're going to do today, uh, tonight actually, is we are going to sketch out, we're gonna turn the lights down, we're gonna sketch out one of my sketches on here, and then we're going to paint it. And so it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I want to encourage you to check out different, uh, different projectors. What it's going to really is going to appeal to you and what works for you. There's going to be certain abilities that you have, maybe computer abilities. I'm not really all that wonderful with the uh, USB things and all of that. So my husband is incredible and I just send it to him and he, puts it on here for me and then he figures all this out and he gets it all set up for me, which he's gonna show you in just a second, <laughs> gets it all set up for me. So I rely a lot on him for this, but if it's something that you can handle, then go for it. But look, go on Amazon and uh, they have some that lay just right on top of your sketches and project it onto a wall 
all kinds of different projectors, but it really does help and it really does free you. Now with this USB, we have uh, the different, my different sketches, they're all in little folders. And so now we're going to dim the lights. <laughs> and there we go. So now we are going to choose which sketch that I want to paint tonight or tomorrow. And uh, so we're going to go to one of these files. And if I can ask Jason to choose one of the files here, and I'm going to figure out which one I want to do, and then we're going to make some adjustments. Now, pencils. You can use different types of pencils. You can use just a regular pencil, one that's a little thicker, one that's or a little softer, so it makes a, a, a stronger mark on your canvas, or you can use a charcoal. It really depends on what you want to, to do. Um, now you can, I can just barely see some of my uh, sketches here. So go ahead and continue to move. And if you're able to move over and I can choose. Oh, chicken. I definitely want to work on the chicken. This one right here. All right. So I've been wanting to do this chicken for a long time. Okay, so we, it took us a second to get it arranged, but here we go. And that's what you have to do. You kind of got to play with it to get it arranged a little bit. We had to move it closer. We had to tilt this a little bit and tilt that, but we've got it set and ready to go. And now we're going to turn the lights off again. And there you go, voila. And I'm ready to sketch. I've decided to use uh, my charcoal pencil and I'm going to start sketching my chicken. Well, I've been wanting to do this one for a long time. And really it's about getting the essence of what you sketched. Sometimes it turns out to be kind of a different thing than what you sketched originally. I know that that's what happened with my, uh, the last one I showed you, my little plant lady. I call it my plant lady, but that's not originally what I intended it to be. I don't really know what I intended it to be, but it sort of developed into that as I was painting it. And it's still growing. This is kind of a womb down here. And here is the umbilical cord of a baby chick. And it's not always very clear, so sometimes you have to get your sketchbook out and get your original sketch. You see, I really can't make out the detail here, but I'm gonna to try to sketch it out best I can in this larger, larger setting. But this just, doing this with your projector and getting your sketches into this larger setting, just, it grows you and it helps to, to get these sketches that are, in my opinion, my, like I said, my sketches are a lot more creative. I'm, I'm a little more free when I'm sitting and I'm just relaxed and I'm sketching. I'm able to just not really think. I challenge myself to not think about what I'm drawing and I'm really creative 
because I challenge myself not to think too hard. So I come up with a lot more creative and a lot more, um, a lot more advanced art, I would say, because I don't think too much. I just let my creative process flow. All right. And so what you want to make, make sure is that you've sketched out all of the, the parts to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on a light. And I'm going to at least see if I have not missed anything. And it looks like I've gotten everything. I, I do need to get this chip a little bit better and uh, to make sure that I have not missed anything and could get this in a little more detail. Otherwise, I think that, uh, that I've got it. And so tomorrow we're going to go ahead and dig in. We're going to start to paint this. And so I'll see you in the daylight and I look forward to it. Shelly signing out for tonight. See you in a second. Good morning, everyone. So bright and early. And here we have our chicken with lips. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with painting this. Now, it has been a long time discussion with our family. Uh, do chickens have lips? Well, it's been a long time discussion with me and my family. Do chickens have lips? I think ch chickens have lips. Uh, they're just hard, they're beaks. Those are the chicken's lips, right? Beaks. Hold to your beliefs, everyone. Hold to your beliefs. <laughs> chickens have lips. So this is my chickens have lips uh, painting. Chickens have lips. Uh, but I also made this chicken a mama. So I am, uh, I've got my paints ready. I'm going to go with, I've already painted it kind of a rust background, kind of a rust color. That's going to be sort of a base. This is my original sketch of chicken, and we'll put a picture of it for you so you can see the original sketch. And uh, I am just gonna have some fun with this. I don't know if I'll finish it. I do take a long time to paint my paintings. And so, but I'm just gonna have fun with it. But that's what I want you to do with art and in your life, take your time, one step at a time. One step at a time with your art, one step at a time in life. And that's what you need to do. Just breathe through things and enjoy. The creative process is to be enjoyed and loved and, and free flowing. What the creative process is all about is some, what is inside of you coming out and allowing it to, to form and build onto the canvas or into a sculpture or uh, whatever process you have, whether it's a scrapbooking or whatever it is, allow it to, to be created into that, that process. And the same goes with your life. Allow what's inside of you to form into your life. Now, sometimes we have moments, times, sometimes even blocks of time that are stuck. Now, I did do a video on how to kind of get your creative process going, so go ahead and watch that video. But sometimes we have moments in our life where we're feeling stuck. And those moments, I've been there. I've been there a lot recently, especially with COVID happening. And what you have to do is you have to make a decision. Make a decision to get up in the morning. Make a decision. Make those small decisions to get up. Make those small decisions to uh, put on makeup, get dressed. Uh, do something different that day. And doing something different is what we've talked a lot about today with, with using a projector. Now, using this projector, I got, my husband got this for me on Amazon. I looked for a name. It's not, it's not even written on the projector, but you look up projectors on Amazon or go to a store. Doing something different, taking your, your uh, sketches and then getting them onto a canvas, doing something different to spur on your art. And that's what you want to do. 
and I hope you enjoy this and I'll come on and say goodbye at the end and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Enjoy you guys. And here you see the finished product and I wish you all well and remember chickens do have lips. <laughs> this is Shelly with Life Creates Art signing out. Be well everyone.